Hey friends, welcome to our midweek moment. Pastor Nicole here, so glad you clicked on. This week we continued on in our sermon series, Unimportant, How Jesus Loved the Outcasts. And we are looking this week particularly at the story that Jesus tells. It's a parable about a tax collector and a Pharisee and how they both approached um, God with different kinds of prayers. We talked a little bit about who the Pharisees were and how they were highly revered. And we talked a little bit about tax collectors and how they were highly reviled <laughs> and how Jesus kind of flips that in the story. And he says that the tax collector is the one who came seeking mercy and forgiveness and he will be given that. And, um, you know, as, as people who have heard stories about Jesus for a long time, we, we know that the Pharisees aren't the hero of the story, but in in Jesus's time, the Pharisees were the heroes of the story, uh, at least to many people in Israel they were. After the sermon was over, I had several people share with me about how um, they know people, whether it be family members or friends, who have left the church or don't want to come to church because um, of how they have felt judged or... Um, they, they don't like what the church stands for because of its uh, judgmental tone, um, things like that. And, and just kind of sharing from a place of, of uh, brokenness for these people whom they love and how they have been hurt by the church and um, unwilling to kind of be a part of a church because they don't want to be a part of a place that is hurtful. And, um, you know, as a pastor, that really breaks my heart. Um, I have, of course, experienced lots of people um, in my ministry who I have seen hurt by the church. Um, I specifically have lots of former youth who have left the church because they have been um, so hurt by the church and what the church stands for and um, how judgmental the church can be. And it's, it's one of those things that just is, um, it's heart-wrenching. It's heart-wrenching when somebody you love is hurt by something that you love, right? By the church. Um, I've chosen to give my life to the church. You know, I uh, have uh, made a vow before God to serve the church. And um, I think it's really hard. I, I kind of live in this space of tension um, as I think all church do goers do, of like knowing that the church can be so judgmental while also knowing that the church is the hope of the world. And so we kind of have to like hold this tension of like, <laughs> we know that that the church can, can be so, um, can cause so much pain in people's lives because uh, the people can be mean or... Um, can look down on others, can say just terrible things. But the church is also where we um, learn and grow as a community of believers. And um, yeah, it's, so you, you kind of see that like tension between the two. It's something that um, I have to learn to live with in my daily life. Um, and and I, it's something that I think a lot of people have to uh, learn to live with or they choose not to live with it and they leave the church. And that is, it's just so hard when that happens. You know, the church is made up of broken people, right? We are all sinners. We are all broken people. We all have a ton of baggage that we bring with us. And sometimes we allow that baggage and brokenness to break others. And I, I'm not like making excuses for people. <laughs> That's never how Jesus wants us to behave. But unfortunately, it is a reality. And so I think the church has to do better, right? We have to work to do better, to not allow our brokenness to affect other people, to not allow our sinfulness to um, affect other people. It's just, it's not how Christ wants us to be. And so if you or someone you know is kind of in that place of, I don't think I want to go to church. I haven't had a good experience there. Um, I am suggest you try finding a different church. Um, not all churches are the same. Uh, I know I'm probably biased in saying that Willow Hill is one of the most friendly and kind and accepting congregations that I've been a part of. It's certainly not uh, perfect um, by any stretch of the imagination. We have our flaws for sure, but um, 
but I want you to know that whoever you are, you are welcome at Willow Hill, whether that be by joining us online or in person. But there are other churches all over the place that might be a better fit for you than the one that you grew up in or the one that you had a bad experience in. Um, sometimes it's not even the denomination that you need to change. It's just the church. Different churches have different cultures. So, uh, you know, it's, it's tough because um, as I shared on Sunday, uh, there are times I have a little Pharisee living in my heart, right? And, um, and I think that's all of us, that we are modern day Pharisees in the church and, and we have to work on that. We have to continually strive to let go of our own judgments and our own preconceived notions and instead embrace um, the spirit of Christ, which is that all people are welcome. All people are beloved. All people have a place in the body of Christ. So um, just wanted to share a little bit about that today. It was on my heart, um, especially after hearing from so many people uh, this weekend that were sharing that they have uh, friends or family members that are kind of in that same space of having been so hurt by the Pharisees of the church. Um, <laughs> It is a shame. It is a shame, but it's something that um, we can continue to pray about and work towards being better every day. So I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I hope you'll join us this weekend as we continue on in our journey. This weekend, we're going to be talking about uh, the untouchables in the Bible, so you're not going to want to miss that, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye!